Hi guys, so it's me, and I know it's been a super crazy long time since I last um, updated you on Kaya and everything. Um, I made two videos, I think two weeks ago, on just random things, but yeah, I failed to upload my two month postpartum and Kaya update, and I actually recorded that three different times on three different days. And I really struggled with uploading them and decided not to because each one was so different um, because I struggled with how much I wanted to share and I realized that it was unfair to you guys because I promised from the very beginning that I would be 100% honest with you guys and how I'm feeling and what my life is like as a mother um, and everything that I go through. So. I decided not to post any of those videos and I decided to just do a three month update, like a two three month update um, so that I could share with you guys what's really been going on with me and how I've really been feeling. Um, and I figured if I could have just like a few more weeks to kind of process all of it so that I won't be as emotional and stuff then um, that would help me. So. Um, I won't get into that right now. Obviously, my three-month postpartum update will be up next week, or this week on Friday. I'll try to do that and um, share what's been going on with Kaya. But if you follow me on Facebook or you follow my blog, you'll know that it's been a pretty difficult week for us. Um, here's Kaya. Say hi. As you can tell, she is very congested. Can you say hi? Say hello. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, she's very congested right now. Um, this past week, Wyatt got really sick with an upper respiratory infection. At least that's what the doctor said it was. Uh, we took him to the doctor, and he didn't get better. They said it was just like a cold. Then we he spiked a fever of like 104. We got really worried. It didn't go away for two days, even with Tylenol. Uh, so then we called the on-call doctor in the middle of the night. He told us to take an emergency room. So on New Year's Eve, John took him to the emergency room. The emergency room doctor called it just an upper respiratory infection, that kind of thing. Said it would get better by the end of the week. Um, it didn't get better. And in fact, Kaya started getting sick last week as well. We thought it was the same thing. Um, Again, I took her to the doctor. The doctor said, oh, he's, she will get better. She'll feel, you know, she has what Wyatt has. Just, you know, keep an eye on her. Uh, Friday night rolled around, and she couldn't breathe. She looked really pale. She had been lethargic for the past two, three days, just sleeping all day. I had to force her to nurse. Um, she was just not herself. She's a really happy baby, and she just was, you know, it was almost like she wasn't there anymore. So we took her to the emergency room. Um, we were there from 11.30 at night to about 6 o'clock in the morning. Uh, they tested her, and sure enough, she tested positive for RSV, which if you guys don't know what that is, um, it's a type of infection, respiratory infection, the lower respiratory infection. Um, that's what the cough sounded like. Oh, she sometimes chokes and then sometimes throws up. Oh, there she goes. Okay, so that was kind of scary. Um, that is part of her throwing up. See, she's like perfectly fine now that I've changed her clothes and stuff. She got what she needed to out. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Um, anyways, where was I? Um, uh, yeah, so past three nights or prior to us taking an emergency room, she had been throwing up after coughing fits and she was having this, well, you heard her cough. Um, that cough is kind of similar to what the whooping cough or pertussis can sound like, so we immediately took her into the emergency room. Um, they tested her. They did a catheter in her to get a urine sample. They did a mucus sample. They also uh, nasal suctioned her. They took a catheter and put it down five inches and sucked out everything since she couldn't breathe. They did that twice. Um, they also did... <laughs> They also did um, some blood uh, drawn things with her heels. They did some cultures. They did two chest x-rays, which came back normal. 
Um, and then because she was so pale and lethargic, they um, felt like she was very dehydrated. So they put an IV in her arm. It was the most painful experience. Um, I've had each of my kids in the hospital before for things. This is probably the most traumatizing because it took them 40 minutes to of pricking her to find a vein that they could use. Um, both of her arms are bruised from places they couldn't get it in and then they also tried her foot and they eventually got one in her hand. Again, there's pictures on my Facebook if you saw, but um, they did a full bag of fluids which she started perking up a lot better after that. She took some Tylenol because of her fever. Um, but yeah, she tested positive for RSV like I said. RSV for normal adults and older children comes off as kind of just like a mild cold. Um, for babies, however, six months and younger, they can be very severe and turn into ear infections, bronchitis, or uh, pneumonia. Um, so they were concerned about Kaya and wanted to make sure that we kept her hydrated and stuff like that and kept a close eye on her. If she got worse, bring her back immediately and so on. Um, Saturday and Sunday, she didn't seem to get any better. She actually got crankier, which Kaya is not a cranky baby. She is just a wonderful, happy baby all the time. So it was pretty heartbreaking to see her so tired and so sick and coughing to the point of throwing up like you saw. Um, it's been really hard. Uh, she's not throwing up for any other reason. It's just that um, she's got so much mucus stuck down there. So last night she started getting this weird cry and this weird cough. And I was going to take her to the emergency room, but it just felt like she could maybe wait it out through the night. So I made an immediate appointment this morning. Um, this morning when we woke up, uh, <laughs> Ava came into our room and said that she wasn't feeling well either. Her belly hurt. So I asked the doctors if I could bring in her as well to get checked out and called her school and told them that she would not be in. Um, we took both of them, all three of our kids, to the doctor's office. Um, first they checked out Kaya, and sure enough, she had gotten worse, not better. Even though she's in better spirits today, like she's actually smiling and is more awake than she has been in the past week, she's still nasal congestion-wise and stuff is getting worse. They actually heard wheezing in her chest, um, so that means the infection has spread there. So she is now on a breathing okay. treatment. Um, every four hours um, of albuterol, which albuterol, I took it when I was younger, um, when I had asthma, because it uh, helps, I guess, expand the lungs or tubes or, and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend to know what it does. But that's what I took um, when I was younger for asthma. So I'm very familiar with it. Um, I'm comfortable using it. They gave us this cool little, I don't know if you can see that the lighting's so bad in here. There. Is that better? They gave us this cool little seal. His name is Sammy the seal and it's a nebulizer and what it does is you put the medicine it's tubing you put the medicine in this part which they come in little capsules um, like this and then we have quite a few of them but I don't know if I focus in on that. There you go. They come in little capsules like this um, albuterol sulfate and then you put it in this part of the tube and then that's the mask. You hold that up to her face. You turn it on. And then it just steams out the medicine and she breathes it in. So it's a breathing treatment. She's supposed to take it every four hours. Um, oh, there you go. There's a better view of her. She's supposed to take it every four hours. And it's supposed to help her in the long run. Um, if she doesn't show improvement in the next three days when we take her back to the doctor, um, they'll try something else, I guess. I don't know what will happen. But as you can tell, if you listen closely... She just doesn't breathe very clearly, so she's just it's so sad. Um, as you saw when she threw up, um, we have a towel underneath her because we've changed our sheets so many times. But that was one of the side effects that the albuterol breathing treatment was going to have on her. It was going to make her cough. Um, it's supposed to help her cough out the mucus, and the doctor did warn us that she would puke out the mucus as well, which is a good thing, but it's also really annoying. Um, so a few lost her cookies when she threw up, I apologize, but I wasn't expecting her to throw up A and B. It's, again, it's, we were forewarned that that was going to happen. It's actually a good thing. And as you can tell, she's not upset or traumatized from it. She's probably more traumatized by the IVs. But anyway, so um, she's on that breathing treatment. We will, again, do that for the next two or four days, every four hours, and hopefully that'll help her. Uh, babies who have RSV when they're younger are, have more of a tendency to have asthma as they get older and since I had it, it does run in the family so that's unfortunate but we'll just keep a close eye on her. Um, I'm pretty disappointed. 
Uh, Ava's got her, um, she, when she got checked out by the doctor as well this morning, <coughs> don't throw up, um, they tested her for strep throat and of course it tested positive, so she has strep as well, which she actually had her tonsils out when she was younger, I think she was three or four years old, so it's kind of upsetting that she had to have that surgery done and she's still getting strep throat. Um, so she is out of school for today and tomorrow until her antibiotics kick in. Um, she just sneezed in my mouth. Gross. Um, and then while I was doing the breathing treatment that the nurse set up for us in the office, I just figured, well, we're here. Why it still sounds like poo? Why don't we see if they can check him out too? So the doctor took a listen to him because I feel like he has not gotten any better and the ER doctor said that he should have gotten, you know, would be getting better by now and I just feel like he's gotten way worse. He woke up just so cranky and again, Wyatt is usually the happiest little boy in the world. So um, the doctor was happy to take a listen. She, within five seconds of listening to his chest with the stethoscope, immediately said that he was way worse than Kaya. Um, he had crackling in his lungs and chest, which is an indicator of pneumonia, um, which means that his bronchial infection just turned into pneumonia, and yeah. Um, she then checked out his ears, and within, like, again, five seconds of just peeking in there, she said that he definitely had a horrible ear infection in his right ear and fluid in his left. So he is now on Augmentin, which is an antibiotic for um, his pneumonia in his chest, and... And his ear infections in his ears, which I'm happy that they caught some, caught it and that I, you know, pushed to have him listen to and stuff in the office. But, you know, I'm not used to my kids getting sick. Wyatt never got sick ever as a baby. He was born in the middle of summer, so that helped. But I breastfed him, and he never got sick. Kaya is breastfed as well, so I'm, I don't understand. I don't understand why she's getting sick. Um... And then Ava's sick at the same time, and it's just, I don't feel well, and I have doctor's appointment on Thursday, but it's it's just really frustrating. I'm very tired. It's not been an easy few months, and I'm battling some depression right now, and then just seeing all my babies sick is just really hard. So, oh, I guess RSV and the flu and rotavirus and all of that is just going around so much right now, so I'm really considering just keeping my kids at home and just disinfecting them up and down all day long for the rest of the winter but yeah so that's kind of what's going on with us that's why I've um, not updated any videos it's been a really hard week um, actually it's been a really hard few months but that's my update <sighs> um, look at these cute little socks <laughs> these cute my sister-in-law sent these for Kaya for Christmas <laughs> Reminds me of Tinkerbell's little boots, except for they're pink instead of green. But yeah, so Kaya's feeling a little bit better. She's just, I just, I hurt, you know, she's, I, she's just the sweetest little baby, and she doesn't deserve to be in so much pain, and it's just hard, so. Yeah, can you say hi? Can you say hi? No? Say hi. So yeah, so we're hanging in there. Kaya's got an appointment in three days to see the doctor again. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that she shows improvement and that this doesn't get any worse or spread any further. Um, I'm also crossing my fingers that Wyatt's pneumonia doesn't get any worse because I don't even want to think about what will happen if it does. Um, he has a follow-up appointment in two weeks and Ava's got strep and she's pretty strong and she's older so I don't think that that should be an issue after she starts her antibiotics. But you just keep our family in your prayers um you know kai is still so young that it's just really scary 